Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an unhaul of my bookshelf as a bit of a spring cleaning thing and something I've just been wanting to do lately because my bookshelves have a lot of books on them that I know I'm never going to read again and that I'm not passionate about anymore and that I just want to get rid of and I love getting rid of things. So I figured I'd kind of do it like a live style, like I'll go through my books on camera kind of and then get rid of them as we go. So I really don't know how many I'm going to be getting rid of today. I feel like I'm going to get rid of a lot and I'm going to make some tough calls, but I'm pretty ready for it. Starting with my top shelf, I won't be able to show all of the shelves. This side, I'm very happy with all these books here, but I do think it's time to get rid of a couple of these books. I actually kind of was convinced to maybe give Red Queen a shot. So I actually am not going to unhaul this, even though I said that I would in my last tag video that I did. We're just going to hold on to it for a little bit longer, see if I ever get to reading it. Um, I am still going to go ahead with unhauling Ugly Love. So the first book going away. Bye-bye. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of The Scorpio Race 2. I really enjoyed this book and I still would recommend it, but I just never am going to read it again myself. This will go to a happy home, I'm sure. Moving on to this side of the bookshelf. Let's see here. I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of any of these because I actually really like all of these books right here. I probably should have organized this before I started the video, but it's a little more authentic this way, so I'm sure that's not much of a problem. All right, the biggest thing, event of this whole video is what I'm about to do and what kind of was my motivation for doing this video. In the first place, I'm gonna be getting rid of some Cassandra Clare books. I know, I, I didn't think the day would come. I thought I was gonna have these books forever and ever, but the truth is I have very much outgrown her books. So I am going to be getting rid of Lady Midnight, I know, there's a lot of people who really love this book. I'm never gonna read this again. Like, I'm just, I'm not. Like, I don't even know if I'm gonna read any more Cassandra Clare books. I just, I don't know. I don't feel like that's what I want right now. Oh, goodbye. For sure, I'm getting rid of the second half of the Mortal Instruments series. I mean, I liked these books when they came out, but reflecting on them, I didn't really like them. Like, I felt like I liked them because I had to like them because I liked the first part of the series, but realistically, never gonna read these again. I feel like I'm making so much space right here. This is exciting. Next, Lord of Shadows is going because I'm getting rid of that series and I have the third one on my Kindle, so I never actually bought the third book, but I had the first two. And this is this is the one that I spilled tea all over because <sighs> just a lot of tea happened. There's one tab, let's just, Let's just see what happens. I'm not good at tabbing. I do want to get better at that, but because I read so many books from the library, it is a little harder for me since I don't keep a lot of books. I am keeping Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess because I adore that series, and that actually is a series I would like to read again, maybe even kind of soon. Like, I could see myself really enjoying that again right now. The OG Mortal Instruments series, I am going to be saying goodbye to these ones today. Kind of another sad case because I loved these books. Like, I just, I loved them, but honestly, thinking about reading them now, is not enjoyable at all. Like that doesn't sound like fun to me. I'm really happy for when I like these books, but they're gonna be going. I'm gonna be keeping all my Harry Potter books forever and ever, so that's not negotiable. I'm gonna have like 20 copies of each version um, by the time I'm like 80 years old and that's gonna be completely fine. From my like historical fiction shelf, I'm actually gonna be keeping pretty much all of the books that I have there because I don't have many first of all and they're all still books that I would wanna reread and that I really like, but I will be getting rid of this one, Hannah Grace, one of those um, like Christian fiction, historical fiction books. I didn't really read many of those. This is like maybe the only one I ever read, but at the time I really, really liked this book. It's just something I know if I read now, I would just cringe 90% the way through this. So I read this when I was a teenager. So we're gonna, we're gonna get rid of this one. So I have three more books and that is gonna actually end my unhaul. I'm gonna be getting rid of some Saradescent. So I did kind of collect Saradescent for a while because when I was in high school, just loved her books. I'm not getting rid of all of her books because the Truth About Forever is always my favorite. I'm keeping that one. And then I did get a signed edition. This is the copy that I read. And then this is the copy that um, my friend 
got signed for me, but it even is personalized. So there's no way I can get rid of that. It was very, very thoughtful of him to do that for me because he knew how much I love Sardis and I love this book. So Justin, if you're watching this video, thank you again so much. I still appreciate this and love this. And I'm still gonna keep both copies because it just holds a lot of sentimental value for me. I will be getting rid of This Lullaby by Sarah Dessen. I'll be getting rid of Dreamland by Sarah Dessen. And also um, What Happened to Goodbye by Sarah Dessen. I'm still keeping, like I said, The Truth About Forever, my two copies, and then Along for the Ride. The reason really I started BookTube channel was because of this book and the review I did for this book. So I am gonna be holding onto this for the sentimental purposes as well. That is it for all of the books I'm going to be getting rid of. Actually, 14 books that I'm getting rid of, which is pretty great if I do say so myself. So I'm going to go ahead now and just reorganize my bookshelf to get them looking really nice and pretty and maybe do some book shopping to fill in all the empty spaces that I just created. But thank you so much for watching this book on haul. And if you have a book here that you really think I should keep, let me know. But my mind is pretty dead set on all of these books. So thank you for watching and happy reading. I'm going to try to hold them all now and Okay, I'm doing it. You can't even see all the books because there's too many. How does one do this?